So I talk a lot on this channel about being more productive and that's because I'm always on the lookout for ways to be more efficient with all the work that I do on YouTube. However, for most of us, before we actually get started doing work, we actually have to physically get in position to do that, which for most of us means pulling up some sort of an office chair to a desk whenever we do things like editing or streaming or being social or any number of other things that usually require a computer to do. And for me, usually that meant sitting on a bunch of so-so office chairs that I would usually just buy in a hurry from a place like Office Max or Office Depot that I would then use and abuse until eventually it broke down like the last one that I would have bought from a place like that. But after much haranguing from people like the game looters, I finally decided to step up my chair game just a little bit, and that is why today's video is all about the Secret Lab Omega gaming chair that I am sitting in right now. Now, I've only had the chair for about a week at this point, so really all I wanted to do today was talk about my experience in building it. If you're on the lookout for a new chair yourself and you're actually kind of looking in the direction of gaming chairs, that way I can kind of show you what the setup and actually building this chair was like. And then finally, my first impressions of using the chair for about a week. Now, obviously, I haven't used the chair for years on end, so I can't speak too much of things like its durability or anything, but I'm gonna do my best. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Secret Lab Omega and what my experience has been like using that chair so far. Now, as soon as you get your new chair from Secret Lab, make no mistake, this is a beefy boy. It was definitely heavier than I was expecting when I started putting it together, but pretty much as soon as you do, it becomes clear where that weight comes from because this thing is made of some extremely durable materials. Normally, so-so office chairs tend to start breaking down at some of the most commonly used pressure points of the chair, things like wobbly arms, for example. But one of the things that I noticed immediately that kind of set this apart is that the arms aren't something that you attach directly to the seat base with the Secret Lab Omega. Rather, they're already just built onto a very, very sturdy frame, which is made of steel. And that's just one of the details I noticed right out of the box that kind of told me, yeah, this is definitely a whole new level in terms of the chairs that I am normally used to sitting in whenever I do my stuff for YouTube. Now, putting it together, they actually recommend that you have two people work on it so that the process builds a little bit more quickly, but ultimately, you don't need two people to put this chair together. I was able to put it together solo in about half an hour. Now, putting it together was pretty much dead simple thanks to two very nice convenience inclusions. The first is a gigantic step-by-step -step sheet with huge color pictures that show you exactly what you need to do to put the chair together, which makes it almost impossible to put a part on incorrectly or in the wrong orientation. And the other convenience feature they included, which I thought was extremely nice, was a very nice tool set, which included uh, an extended Allen wrench and then also a Phillips head screwdriver with a really nice handle that made putting this together really, really easy. And it definitely says something about the company when they include some really higher quality tools like that, rather than just some jank little Allen wrench that's probably going to bend when you try to use it. They're pretty heavy duty, and honestly, I'm probably going to hold on to these things for any future like flat pack furniture building endeavors. Literally every step of the process is extremely well documented and easy to follow. And if you had any problems with the included instructions, you could also go to the website where they have a really, really incredible build video that shows how to put the chair together step by step. Now, I know I mentioned that you can't put this thing together solo, and it was mostly a painless process that took me about a half hour. Again, the only thing that was kind of difficult was actually sliding the chairs back onto the seat. That was a little bit weird just because it's kind of an awkward piece to hold by yourself, and you know, if you don't have somebody to hold down the seat, it can kind of walk around on you. But that's an incredibly minor gripe, and it really didn't take much time at all. It was just one of the things I noticed that was a little bit harder than the rest of the steps in the process. The only other caveat about the build is you definitely do not want to touch or mess with the reclining handle when you're in the middle of the build don't mess with it until after the process because at a certain point they basically have you remove a single red Phillips head screw that is holding that in place and I'm assuming it's there just to make sure that you know when it ships it doesn't wobble around or anything like that but if you tried to mess with the handle before taking that screw out I'm sure it could break that piece but honestly they have a gigantic warning label that's right on the seat imploring you not to do this before the time uh, is ready for you to actually remove that screw so it's not a huge deal but just something to be aware of if you're the rebellious type and you're like you know what I'm gonna test this thing right now Definitely don't, because I'm assuming that will cause damage to the chair. Although that being said, I didn't have to baby it too much or anything. I wasn't like, you know, completely terrified I was going to accidentally hit the handle or jostle it in some way and break it during it. It looks like really uh, that screw's just there to make sure that it's held in place. And as long as you don't put like some kind of Hulk force behind it or something, you're not going to break it in the course of just normally building it. Just follow the instructions and everything will build up very quickly and easily. And once it does, good lord, this is a gorgeous chair. The materials absolutely look and feel premium. 
The stitching feels solid, and while nearly every chair in their lineup is heavily branded based on the model you choose, it looks tasteful somehow and not at all off-putting. And I say that as a guy who normally shies away from products that have really, really heavy branding. Generally, I like a little bit of subtlety in the design of the products that I utilize, but here, even though it is very bold and in-your-face, it actually looks really, really nice, I think, so I don't really mind it that much. But if you're somebody who doesn't like tons and tons of branding all over your chairs, this might not be the one for you. But if you're somebody who can tolerate it, like me, as long as it's not in a tasteful way, I think you will be pleasantly surprised. But ultimately, there is more to the chair than just the chair. It also includes two memory foam pillows with it, one for the headrest, which you can kind of see right here, and one that you cannot see, which is a lower back sort of lumbar pillow that they include for the bottom of the seat. And I'm gonna be honest, I thought this would be the dopiest part of the chair. Every time I would see somebody on YouTube or somebody streaming and they would have a gaming chair and it would have this pillow back here, I always cringe a little bit because I don't think it looks very elegant. And I kind of figured that functionally speaking, it wouldn't do very well either because I assumed that it would slip around a whole lot, but that's actually not the case. The elastic band that they use to keep the headrest pillow in place is really well done because it's got a strip of rubber on the back but which creates friction against the leather of the chair. So it stays in place really, really well. Now it comes with the lumbar pillow, which is behind my lower back right now. That was less of an issue for me visually, obviously, because you never really see it, right? It's not gonna show up in any video or any stream that you do because you know, your body's going to be blocking it, obviously. And I was iffy on this at first, but honestly, it's a completely essential component. No, it's not as clean as elegant as some of the other models in the Secret Lab lineup, which actually do have integrated lumbar support that you can adjust on the fly. But nonetheless, the pillow, just like the headrest pillow, is extremely comfortable, with a small caveat. Now, if you're like me, where you don't exactly have the best posture whenever you're sitting at a desk, if you tend to slouch or slump over a little bit and your lower back bends in a way that it's absolutely not supposed to and is completely not at all ergonomic, then you will experience, like I did, a little bit of discomfort with this chair initially. I noticed about the first day or two I had a little bit of lower back pain, but that honestly wasn't a failure of the chair or that it was positioning my back in a way that you would call incorrect. Rather, that was it basically correcting my bad posture for a very long time sitting in office chairs, kind of teaching me to sit up more straight. And after a couple of days, that started to dissipate, and now it's extremely comfortable to me. But just be aware, if you've been sitting in chairs for a long time, you tend to slouch or slump over a little bit. Uh, this chair is going to like force you to sit up a little bit more straight if you utilize the pillow. Uh, and after a couple of days of mild discomfort, it starts to become a little bit, uh, or actually a lot more bearable, I would say. It's very comfortable for me to sit in now, but that first day or two, I was like, ooh, maybe I've made a terrible mistake here. Not the case. You just have to stick with it for about a day or two uh, if you're somebody who, you know, like me, did not have the best posture. And when it comes to the actual memory foam itself, that was another piece that I was a little bit skeptical about going into a chair like this, because I have, you know, seen and used memory foam across a variety of things like, you know, like mattresses or chairs or cushions or, you know, whatever. Uh, and, you know, the quality obviously is going to vary wildly from one manufacturer to the next, but I can say that, you know, the pillows that they provide with this chair are just about the perfect blend for me. They offer uh, the right amount of, I don't know, like, I guess you would call like the correct uh, cushiness to firmness ratio. Right? I mean, they're substantial enough that it is going to keep you supported, but they're not like, you know, it's, it's not like sitting with your back against a block of concrete either, right? It does find the nice middle ground. Again, I can't speak to how this is going to hold up after years and years of use, but for right now, they're way more comfortable than I gave them credit for. So that's all the inclusions and kind of a look at what you can expect after you have the chair actually built. So what's it like to actually use it for hours and hours on end? That's what I want to talk about now. And for starters, and most importantly, it is extremely comfortable. And I don't just mean that in like a sort of face value sort of way, like, oh yes, when I sit down, it is comfortable, but rather the different ways that I tend to sit down, it has remained comfortable in all of them. Sometimes I will sit cross-legged at my desk while I edit a video. Sometimes I will lean back more if I'm playing a game. Sometimes if I'm shooting or streaming or doing something like this, obviously, you know, it's more of a 90 degree angle or not quite a 90 degree angle, but I'm definitely sitting up more straight than I normally would for a lot of other tasks. And I'm happy to say that it is completely comfortable in all of those positions that I've seen so far. And more importantly, it is very easy to get them into those positions because the hardware is very uh, functional, it's very robust, you don't have any issues with you know it catching or not getting to the position that you want it to be. It all works really, really well. And that's a great thing because if you spend a ton of time sitting like a lot of us do, then you want to make sure that all the pieces that allow you to get into a comfortable position are going to be rock solid, sturdy, and functional enough to get you to those positions you know, without giving you too much of a hassle. And I'm happy to report the Secret Lab Omega absolutely does that. The 4D adjustable armrests click into place with this really commanding kathunk of metal, letting you angle them in, raise and lower them, and slide them in and out horizontally as well to fit your body type. 
The reclining feature will let you lay down almost all the way flat, but it was kind of jarring to me because it's also very quick to get there. So if you're not ready for it, you can absolutely just sort of uh, drop back a little too quick and potentially fall over. Although I will say that whenever you're reclining that much, uh, if you do that and you just want, you know, you want to take like a quick nap or something like that or just rest your eyes, uh, it's definitely comfortable and I never got the sense that I was just going to tip over on the chair or having it at that angle. But I've never had an office chair that reclines that far. So a little jarring at first and be careful with the handle because it goes back pretty fast. The height adjustability feels supportive as well and works as you'd expect, so finding the correct level for your height shouldn't be an issue, and with the adjustable armrest, you shouldn't have to worry too much about constantly banging them into your desk or anything like that while you work. And finally, the wheels on this thing are substantially better than other chairs that I've used because they're not just plastic, but rather they are rubberized, which makes it almost completely silent when you have to roll your chair across a hard surface. Now, obviously, if you're rolling around on carpet, it's not as big of a concern, but if you're rolling on something like, you know, hardwood or concrete or linoleum or tile or something like that, then noise can be a concern, especially if you're streaming or recording and you want to make sure that, you know, slight adjustments or whenever you move around, it's not going to make a bunch of extra ambient noise. Not something you should have to worry about with this because I kind of rolled the uh, the chair across some flat surfaces of the sea and it is almost completely silent. Really about the only thing that I can't criticize this chair for so far is that I'm kind of bummed that I didn't hold out for that Cyberpunk 2077 edition that they just released, which is absolutely gorgeous, like so much of the rest of the Cyberpunk 2077 stuff coming out right now. But honestly, that's on me, and I would have had no way of knowing that they were going to drop a Cyberpunk edition of this chair. But if you're somebody who's into bright yellow, there's definitely an option for you. So to wrap this whole thing up, in summary, for productivity and gaming, this is definitely the best chair that I've ever personally owned. Now, I tried to do my best to put it through its paces over the past couple of weeks, right? Just spending hours at a time sitting in it doing things like editing video uh, or playing games and basically just trying to use it in the most common ways that I would. And so far, my experience has been thoroughly good. So if you are on the market for a gaming chair, I think Secret Lab is definitely worth a look. They do have a variety of different, you know, options available for you depending on your body type. But for the Omega specifically, I've had a really good experience with it. Again, I'll probably do a follow-up in about a year to kind of see how much it stood up to the abuse that I've put it through over the course of a year of YouTubing and playing games, doing my day job from this chair. So, you know, once I get to that point, I'll probably, uh, you know, see how, if it's still doing pretty good, if it's still pretty cozy and comfortable, and, uh, you know, that really nice construction does in fact hold up over a year of heavy use. Now, I suspect that it absolutely will, but hey, time will tell the tale. Now, if you have any specific questions about the Omega Chair, if there's something that I didn't, you know, cover well enough, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. Uh, as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I definitely appreciate that. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel for new videos, which usually drop on Tuesdays and Thursdays with game streams in between. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.